Yeah. N 62528, State Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. I came here straight out to Illinois Department of Corrections in 1991, all right, on an interstate compact. In 2011, I was on an interstate compact. Y'all get a lot of money off of black bodies. Black lives don't matter. Black money do. I'm a whistleblower in the courts from 1986, June of 1986. Right here, June 1986. I blew the whistle on the war on drugs. That's the victim, and those are my witnesses. I was making a movie, a Rob Fix production, and I used the toilet to do it. The toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. I took y'all to court because I'm a free black man. I own me. After y'all kidnapped me in 2007 and 2011, I took you to court. Yeah, we never got a court call. We're going to have one this year. That's my Community Verizon Award, Shorty Davis. Yeah, let me give you a history lesson. There was a, a man called Hannibal. Hannibal went to destroy Rome, but Hannibal gave Rome mercy. I'm not going to give Rome no mercy. I'm going to destroy the Democratic Party. We're going to show you what being black and white America is in 2021. That's 1986. This is 2008. I was kidnapped by the state of Illinois. I am Dred Scott. That's President Obama asking for an investigation. Ron Matz knows about it. Kai Jackson, Mary Mubala. Yeah, y'all normally lie to the public. These other people are involved in my kidnapping in 2007 and 2011. Patricia Cook is a witness. James Hammond is a defendant. Jake Wishnu Ray Davis is a defendant. Paul Weinblatt is a defendant. Scott Schellenberger is a defendant. Frank Cott is a defendant. Governor O'Malley is a defendant. Adam May is a defendant. C. Kai Jackson. These are the people that normally lie to the public to cover up what's going on now. That's State's Attorney Mosby. I'm a whistleblower in the courts. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. You go to Mayor Brandon Scott today, he has this. And that proves that he got this. That's TV One, Roland Martin, Larry Young, Al Sharpton. Racism don't work without black cooperation. That's President Biden. I can't breathe. That's President Biden. That's President Trump. This is my whistleblower's application from 1986, 2007, 2011, 2021. It's about racism in your courts. That's my address, 2905 Alicia, all right? And y'all return the sender. Y'all took everything off of this. Y'all don't want none of this to prove that y'all had any parts of this. That's the state's attorney's office. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower. And that's the 1986 case, possession of cocaine, February 1986. That's me, 2006. That's my store on Falls Road. I changed my product. I didn't change my hustle. I sell $5 sandwiches. I pay taxes. That's Starbucks. All right? We will confront racism to create a more inclusive and just world. We stand in solidarity with our black partners, customers, and communities. That's Governor Hogan. And we talking about racism 2021, the new face of old Jim Crow. We catching rats. See that? Baltimore, Freedom Fighter Award, 2008. We catching rats. We catching rats. All black ain't black. We catching rats, and we ratting y'all out catching rats and y'all gonna see these rats all over Baltimore the same way as you see these toilets black lives don't matter black money do that's Kai Jackson Adam May so let's show you what the world let's show the world what being black in Baltimore is that says evidence that was the toilet I left in front of the Towson courthouse you see that page 14 makes protest art potty training politicians that's the criminal case for Baltimore County that's the criminal case for Baltimore City. Like I said, due process and equal protection. Nine, nine Falls Road, President Obama. You see that? Congressmen, senators, judges, Speaker of the House. Dwayne Shorty Davis. I am Dred Scott, 2010. I blew the whistle on y'all long before y'all locked me up in 2011. That's the 86, that's the 2007 case. That's Governor O'Malley. And ABC2 had that. These are the forged checks. Because like I said, I was locked up in another state. That's not my signature. 
That's not my signature. That's not my signature. Like I said, 1986 case. Michael Seals killed. All right. Lunchbox barbecue sandwiches. Highland Park attorney draws prison term in Operation Greylord. That's what we're doing with this box. It's called Operation Greylord. I sent the state's attorney a toilet because y'all made me famous for toilets. It's my political soapbox. That's Jack Young and President Trump. And that's the 13th Amendment. That state's attorney, that's uh, Johnny Oleski. See that? That's Johnny Oleski. That's Bill Ferguson. That's Delegate Clippinger, Lieberman, and Lewis. 2014, y'all had this. Quest for a grand jury. Turn it over. Block parties gets bigger and better. Video vigilante. Got a story called Shorty. That's Edwards. That's Brown. That's Mikulski. That's Ruppersberger. That's y'all. And that's me. That's 2009. Davis, who owns a barbecue business. Look around, Davis said. We dying out here. Yeah. You see this? The Maryland Black Caucus. Y'all got that. This is the big show. That's the big show with Clack Clack. And that's the Big Fat Morning Show. 92Q, Roland Martin, TV1. The Big Fat Morning Show. And that's the Shorty Program. This is not a black plan. This is all inclusive. All right. This is my plan and ours. I gave you the shorty program. I gave you the shorty program in 86. And like I said, we catching rats. We catching rats. You stuck to this. That's Shorty Davis, self-help organization for the redevelopment, re-education of the young. These are the cases. Because like I said, I was kidnapped. And Quasi and Fumi got to act on this. I was kidnapped. See that? I'm gonna use my white privilege. Cause these are the cases, and this case was long before 2011, and these are the supporters of Shorty. Illinois, Maryland, city, county, state, and federal levels. It's a federal offense. That's exhibit four. In regards to your documentary, I will not be able to appear. All right, that's Senator Ben Cardins, and that's Ben Cardins, 2007. Dear Senator, dear Congressman, yeah, shows you right here and gave you the names and dates. That's Parliament Funkadelic, George Clinton, make my funk the P-Funk. Like I said, I'm not a lawyer, but I know the law. I'm in the law books. That's Judge Papaya, Judge Turnbull, Judge Souter. Yeah, we're going to have a federal investigation into your courts. Because, see, I'm a member of Out for Justice, and that's voter suppression by the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party and the Republican Party. That's Dick Gregory. He ain't here no more. That's Didi Shortman at gmail.com. False imprisonment. Police brutality. Judicial fraud. Prisoner's right advocate. And you got that. See that? Harry Spikes. So we're going to give you some higher learning. It's an MPT moment. You learned something today. All right? These are the elected officials that know about it. That's Barack Obama. That's Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. That's Mr. Harden from the Department of Justice. That's Marilyn Mosby from 2016. That's Mayor Pugh. And that's Thelma Branch. These are the supporters of shorties. Governor Hogan know about it. That's voter suppression by the Republican and the Democratic Party. See that? That's my past. And that's the Constitution. You feel me? And we're talking about the Supreme Court. Under Article 3 of the Supreme Court, I can go to the Supreme Court because you kidnapped me. And you refuse to take this information. It's a writ of sociority. Criminal charges, 2011, against Scott Schellenberger. You see the people that know about it? These are all the people that know about it. Adrian Jones, State's Attorney, Vanessa Attenberry, Nicole Hansen, Kiefer Mitchell, ACLU. So let's tell the story about Shorty, because this is all about Baltimore and your politics. That's page one. That's Marilyn Mosby. 
She sent this back. Marilyn Mosby is protecting the corruption of the Democratic Party. That's prosecutorial discretion. That's the Baltimore Sun, Luke Broadwater, Justin Fenton, showing you the role that the media plays in misinformation. And that's Bill Henry. He's a defendant, him and his father. Generational wealth against generational poverty. That's Governor O'Malley. Like I said, 2005. That's my store on Falls Road. And these are the supporters of Shorty. It's making a movie about race and racism, and I use white people to do it. And these are the white people. And we're not the watermelon man. These are the white people that participated in my movie. Leaders of a beautiful struggle. And none of these people will open their mouth about my case. Leaders of a beautiful struggle make a lot of money to keep their mouth closed. Ivan Bates, Warren Brown, the white Pettit. Let's talk about it. Kirk Smoke said in the war on drugs. That's Kirk Smoke. That's Shorty. That's Brandon Scott. That's Shorty. That's a job opportunity task force. That's Brian Frost. And that's Shorty. See that? That's Brian Frost. That's Brian Frost. That's Shorty's Underground. 3-25-2008. That's not my signature. I was locked up in another state. That's Bank of America. That's fraud. See that? Thank you for contacting the Comptroller's Office to request an audit for your tax returns. To better assist you, we're affording an email to Daniel C. Riley, Compliance Division. You feel me? It says right here, file charges with your police department. That's Brian Frost. That's Brian Frost. And this is the fraud right here. Right here. Filing false papers with the court. That's Jake Davis and them. That's May of 2008. So Brian Frost, Peter Francott, Governor Hogan, y'all got a job to do. Do your job or lose your job because that's Bank of America. That's the money. And that's the check. This is because I was making a movie, so we won't sue me. And there's also contact information for upcoming events. Thank you very much. That's in 2009. I was making a movie about my daughter, Sierra Monique Davis. I was making a movie about my son, Jake Davis, Deron Battle, and how they stole money and fraud in the courts. This is a picture. It's a picture perfect moment. That's President Trump. That's Tim Williams. Like I said, this is Shorty, a documentary. This is internal affairs in 2010 when y'all came into my house and put guns to my head. This case right here. Y'all came to my house and put guns to my head in October. That's the state's attorney's office. So you already had this information in 2015. See that? City solicitor. That case was worth $54 million. That was the kidnapping case and that was Jake. That's Richard McFeely, the FBI. Y'all got this. You see when you had this? James Moses, Baltimore City Police Department. Senator Cardins. That was December 2009. That's President Trump. I'm a whistleblower. Dwayne Davis, President Trump. And you got that. County Executive Johnny Oleski and Chief Hyatt. Y'all got that. That's Kai Jackson. Mary Mubala, Vic Carter, like I said, ain't no law against making a movie. Ain't no law against making a movie. The Fourth Amendment, the right to people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall be issued upon probable cause supported by the oath of affirmation and particularly describing the places searched and the persons and things to be seized. You stole property from me that exposed Governor... O'Malley's mom machine. Elijah Cummings had that evidence. Jack Young got that evidence. Brandon Scott got that evidence. Quasi and Fumi got that evidence. Y'all participated in corruption and fraud. Family that's still together, go to jail together. I'm a whistleblower. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. It's about me and my son, Philip Davis, in your prison industry in Maryland, your school system in Maryland, being black in America. Dog, I'm a free man. I own shorties. And I'm teaching other people how to be free. Shorty, pull your mask up. No, we on mask in Baltimore. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. That's the Legislative Black Caucus. And this is Department of Justice. That's my Department of Justice ID number. That's President Obama. That's Ch Justice Mary Bubara. And that's October 2020. That's Brandon Scott. He received that. We talking about the murder and the death of our kids.
That's my son. I got a vested interest in this. And like I said, that's Mayor Brandon Scott. That's Jack Young, Brandon Scott, and Shorty. That's Judge Pearson. That's Judge Turnbull. And I told y'all I was making a movie about y'all. It was about Governor O'Malley, director of the ACLU, Terry Owens. Yeah, ain't no law against making a movie. Yeah, ask Tim Watts. Ask Senator Kelly. Ask Ed Mothersullo. Ask Ozzie Newsom. Ask President Biden, because you signed for that. You signed for that. That's Vicki Lawrence. And that's Shorty's Pit Beef. That's my son, Philip. These are the supporters of Shorty's. That's Ray Lewis. And we're talking about racism. It's 52 of y'all that I want. And Ray Lewis stands behind me. I'm not hard to find. You can contact me. You can contact CNN. You can contact Eric Holder. Like I said, that's Mary Wells from the Supremes. That's Vicki Lawrence. That's Ray Lewis. And that's CNN. That's Vanessa Attenberry. Racism don't work without black cooperation. Vanessa Attenberry is holding evidence and refused to turn that evidence over to the grand jury. Vanessa Attenberry is a representative. We will confront racism to create a more inclusive and just world. We stand in solidarity with our black customers and partners. That's Starbucks. But that's your black representative. Social, economic, political, medical, environmental. Members needed from 6 to 106. I gave you a program. That's the shorty program. I gave you careers, not jobs. That's my family. You kidnapped me from. And that's my brother, William Lewis Davis. And y'all found out he was my brother. The whole game changed. You kidnapped me from my family and my mother. Never mess with a black man's family and never mess with a black man's mother. That's who I used to be. This is who I am. That's Mike Tyson. And that's my grandmother. Because I'm supposed to be in Las Vegas. But y'all try to send me to your prison industry, and I'm not ready to go. See that? That's Doug Colbert and Judge Bell. That's me, 2007. In today's highly fast society, technical society, yeah, I gave y'all that. Marilyn Mosby ain't gonna prosecute white people. She gonna lock up black people. TV One, Radio One, this was all about you and the role you play in misinformation. The new faces of old Jim Crow. I work for the people, I work for the community, and my work speaks for itself. I'm Shorty, Shorty Davis, out for justice. That's me, Baltimore's best. And that's my son with them toilets. That's Letters Design, that's my movie. That's Rob Fix Entertainment. That's Governor Hogan, cause like I said, I made a movie about Governor Hogan. Y'all see who I am. Let us design. That's ABC2. ABC2 works for who? That's Dred Scott. That's David Irwin. And it clearly states right here. You have asked my opinion on whether you can be considered a convict convicted in the 1986 case. 86 CS 4988. All right. I can't be con considered convicted because they overturned the conviction. Just like Bill Cosby. I'm innocent. And Tessa know about it, the ACLU, because y'all was there. This is your black leadership and your black representatives. And these are the white people that support Shorty. 2009. These are your elected leaders that blocked this because they want to keep Jim Crow alive. Michael Bush, the Maryland Black Caucus, Tony Bridges, My Storm Falls Road, Dear Governor O'Malley. That was about that. I was blowing the whistle. About your police and your policing. Submit it, shorty. That's my family. Save a cop in the war on drugs. That's my family. My sisters, my brothers, my cousins, my nieces, my nephews. We're going to address judicial racism. That's President Obama. That's the Baltimore Sun. And that's Ed Norris. That's evidence. And the Baltimore Sun had that. Kiefer Mitchell, Al Retmer, Governor Hogan had this. This is about Starbucks. And you gave me this award. Donnie Moses gave me this award. So we just ratting you out. 
Because this is the award you gave me, and you ain't did nothing about it. Racism don't work without black cooperation. And that's what I think of your award. Just like that. It's my birthday. We was making a movie about race and racism. All right? We making a movie about race and racism and rats. Governor Hogan. Right here. It's a movie release. False imprisonment for filming a documentary. That's in 2009. That's my film producer, Rob Fix. That's Letters Design. That's the office of Mer Governor O'Malley, Minority Affairs. While I was locked up, y'all had that evidence. It's the great race debate, 2021. Shorty, pull your mask up. No, we on mask in Baltimore. And you got mail.